go to Sophie Walsh now in London. Sophie, you've got some good news too, because after weeks of grim headlines, Boris Johnson's got something to smile about. Yeah, this is a very welcome distraction. Boris Johnson welcoming a healthy baby boy with his fiancée, Carrie Simmons, early this morning at a London hospital. The Prime Minister was there for the birth of his son. No word on a name yet, um, but we do believe that this is the Prime Minister's sixth uh, child so far. He isn't the first serving PM to uh, welcome a newborn. There was, of course, David Cameron, who had a daughter, Florence, in 2010, and then Tony Blair, who welcomed a son back in the year 2000. But the Queen... Uh, uh, she kicked off the well wishes along with our own Prime Minister Scott Morrison tweeting his congratulations saying nothing better than being a dad, an absolute blessing and even more so after the tough time you've had recently. Obviously he's referring to his brush with death with coronavirus. Uh, former British Prime Minister uh, David Cameron who had a daughter while in office also said, sorry we didn't leave the cot but the climbing frame should still be in the garden. In terms of a name, Wilfred is the bookie's favourite, as well as Winston, Winston Churchill, is Boris Johnson's political hero, as well as Stanley, uh, which is his father's name. But 55 years old, uh, sixth child, obviously very virile. So I would have, I would have said that's right. I yeah. Know, I know, well. and, and you just get that picture by looking at him. <laughs> just magnificent man, isn't he? Oh, yes. <laughs> Imagine that walking up to your bedroom. I still can't believe Sophie just said that. <laughs> Why? It's, it's accurate. It's, it's what she does. She's a reporter. Was that too much for breakfast TV? Oh, nah. I, was, I felt it was a bit much at 6.17, but that's OK. She's become such a prude. But don't you see that when you yes, look at him? He's, as Carl said, he's magnificent. He's magnificent. What a specimen. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I Still think... ahead. It's the isolation.